All right, this next unit is called a Safari unit. It's another one of the mobile units that only relies on external power source, has its own built-in compressor. Once you have the unit rolled into place, you can squeeze the handles of the handle to rotate it downward and get it out of your way. At that point, what you want to do is take this black knob on the top, unscrew it until it detaches from the unit, come over to the side front cover holders, and you want to take a quarter turn to the left and then press it out of the way. Swing the door open. Then the front cover just lifts off of the unit and then can be placed then on the top of the unit with the black knob reattaching it so that it can be used for additional surface for your armamentarium, ultrasonic units, etc. At that point, if you come down to the bottom of the unit in the front, you'll notice that housed in the bottom portion are your high volume and low volume suction attachments, as well as your evacuation reservoir and your water bottle. As well, there's two rheostat foot pedals housed in the bottom, one for your hand pieces and one for the suctions. On the top of the unit, is housed your power cord as well. There's another hose mount that you can use. And your handpiece hoses and your air water syringe hoses. They can be placed on either this mount on the top that we've affixed, or they can be housed in the mount that's on the front of the unit. The power cord attaches to the side of the unit towards the base, and then can just be plugged into a conventional power source. You'll notice at the front of the unit, there is quick connects for water and air for your ultrasonic units, etc as well as a handpiece to switch from one handpiece hose to the other, a compressor toggle. As well, at the bottom of the unit, you'll notice that you have your water reservoir. As with all of the units, you want to make sure that you can use just regular tap water, but it needs to be treated with an ICX tablet. And then after every client or patient, make sure that you take the evacuation bottle, clean and disinfect it appropriately. That's it.